Hello and welcome to Section 5, Monitoring and Logging Docker. In the previous section, we automated the deployment of our Docker Swarm cluster with Chef. In this section, we will be talking about monitoring and logging both our Docker hosts and Docker containers. We will build a monitoring and logging infrastructure with the following steps. We will set up a monitoring system using Graphite and Grafana. Next, we will collect our Docker-related metrics with CollectD. After that, we will centralize our logging system using Logstash and Elasticsearch. And finally, we will visualize a few of our logs with Kibana. Here we are in the first video, monitoring with Graphite and Grafana. In this video, we will build a monitoring system. First, we will set up Graphite, and then we will link a Grafana instance to our Graphite installation. Before we set up our monitoring system, let us first create a new overlay network for our Docker Swarm with Docker Network Create. This overlay network will allow us to interact with our monitoring system for testing and debugging because we created it with the attachable flag. The first part of our monitoring stack is Graphite. Graphite provides a centralized endpoint to receive and store various metrics like the ones available in our Docker Swarm cluster. It also provides a simple way to visualize these metrics. To set up Graphite, we simply spin a new Docker Swarm service from the official Graphite Docker image. Here we made sure that our Graphite setup is attached with the overlay network we created earlier. Now that we have Graphite up and running, let us conduct a simple test. First, let us spin up an interactive Docker session with a BusyBox image. Here we made sure that our container is attached to the overlay network we created earlier. Now that we are inside a shell session, let us generate a sample of random numbers. We will generate the set of data for the past one day. Finally, we will generate this data out to Graphite through its native text protocol with Netcat. Now that we have populated some data to Graphite, let us now visualize it through the ingress port 8080 that we specified earlier when creating the service. Here we are in the Graphite dashboard. As you notice, it is a simple interface. At the left side, let us look for the test random metric. Finally, we will send this data out to Graphite through its native text protocol with Netcat. Now that we have populated some data to Graphite, let us now visualize it through the ingress port 8080 that we specified earlier when creating the service. Here we are in the Graphite dashboard. As we can see, it is a simple interface. At the left side, we simply look for the test.random metric we generated earlier and click on it. We can now see that Graphite loaded the test data we generated earlier. The next monitoring service that we will set up is Grafana. It is basically a front-end for various monitoring systems like Graphite. To set up Grafana in our Docker Swarm cluster, let us deploy the official Grafana Docker image as a service. Here we bound port 80 to the Grafana port so that we can view our Grafana dashboard easily. Let us now connect to our Grafana dashboard. First, let us log in with the default credentials admin admin. Now that we are logged in, Grafana is asking us to define a data source. We configure the data source to point to the Graphite service we set up earlier, which is port 8080 in our ingress configuration. Now that we have a data source defined, the next step is to create a dashboard. A dashboard in Grafana is a collection of pre-configured metrics to be visualized. Let us add a panel visualizing the test.random data we generated earlier. To get a good visual, let us configure the time period to render data for the past day. Finally, let us save this dashboard as test dashboard. We now have a simple monitoring system that can receive and visualize metrics that will be coming from our Docker cluster. 